I would really like now to invite you all to listen for what we can do together and to decide that maybe next year we, we will have a better possibility to speak and a small change and positive change in when we describe women in sports. This is not like the official women's ball, but it's made to just kind of raise the issue of the fact that women can actually play technically even better and faster if they get a ball that's actually fit for them. Almost every sport is designed for men by men. And it means the values that govern us, what, what we celebrate, what we try to bring, up, uh, bring forward in our athletes is based on a very sort of male value system. Women can do more with the progressive ideas. The sport is not a dar of rage, a dar of capia, a dar of agonas. And it is a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Moters stereotypas, kaip pateikiamas sportininkai, kaip tu neįtų gražia, gera mama ir šeimininkė, tu tarpu yra svarbu, kad jisai pasiekė labai aukštų rezultatų ir jis yra ta žvaigždė. Jeigu mes žinom, kad žmogus turi potencialą, kodėl skirtingos sąlygos, kaip yra tas prioritetas nustatomas, kurios sporto šakos turėtų būti remiamos. Act, do, see that changes happen. What about the media, which is almost privately run and their attention? They are as important players in raising their awareness, in promoting or discouraging actually gender equality from the demand and market point of view. You know, often, often when you talk to journalists, they would say, well, you know, we have to look at the ratings and the viewers. And For women to get media coverage, she has to be good and attractive, preferably attractive then it's not so important what which it's really. But if you look at everywhere where decisions are made, men are still making those decisions. We should also realize that sport is a very powerful tool for integrating members of, of society, for socializing, for teaching not only boys and girls, but also newcomers to our societies. What are the rules? How do we relate to each other? And so on.